Hello knife lovers and welcome to Bees Blades. Welcome back to my subscribers and a warm welcome to first time viewers. I got a new knife for you from Kershaw. It was just released about a week ago and we're eager to check it out. I got this because I like the looks of the blade most of all, but the aesthetics are kind of neat and I want to check it out and see what it looks like. So we'll get right into it. Here's your typical Kershaw box. In case you've never got one, this is what they typically come in. And this is the Kershaw Endgame 2095. So let's open this up and see what it looks like. Don't mind me while I uh, just get my knife out here and uh, open up the box. Uh, just don't mind me here. Um, I'm not gonna rip the box, but you know, I just figured I would use my knife to kind of pry it open. Okay, and then you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and close my knife there. Just put this away real quickly. Okay, there we go. All right. See what's in the box. You got your typical inserts, got some information, tells you what parts of the knife are, stuff like that. Nothing super spectacular. And here is the end game. Let's take a look at it. It is it's wild looking, it's futuristic looking. So there's the front. And let's check out the back side. It's like Home Shopping Network. Make sure you twirl it so they can see all the sides and the pretty colors. So let's see what the blade looks like. Wow, easy to open. It's got some gunk on it. Clean that off. It's not near as oily as the last one I opened anyway. Okay. Yeah, I really like that blade shape. That was pretty cool. So there's this side. And here is this side. And here's a look at the knife altogether. That's yeah, pretty radical looking. So I got this knife at Knife Center and you can get it at a lot of the online retailers. I will of course put uh, links in the uh, comments below so you can go check them out yourself. Um, couple of the online retailers were two to four dollars cheaper than I got it for. I got it for it was around sixty four dollars sixty five dollars at knife center um as that's as of the date of this episode it's available in all the places that I'll put in the comments. There's only one version of this knife as far as I know, so let's check out some specs, deployment, ergos, and all that good stuff. Let's see what she weighs. Yeah, this, oh man, I like that blade shape. You know, it's, it's kind of like they get a, a worn cliff, but go, bend up the, the cutting edge. And it's kind of a sheep's foot, but they stretch it out and give it a point. So this is actually a drop point blade. It's got a nice swedge up here going on. It's smooth. It's not, uh, it's not sharp. Let's see how much it weighs. Coming in at 3.9. So we're under the four ounce mark. It's not too shabby, not too bad, not too bad. Overall length, there we go. This is seven, I'm getting a good spot here for you. Overall length is right at seven and a half inches. Your blade length is three and a half inches. Your cutting edge is pretty much the same at three and a half inches. Your blade height here is just about one inch, 0.95. Your blade height, your blade thickness, 0.13, um, let's just check that real quick. Yeah, more like 0 0.12, a little closer to 0 0.12. See there, we're right at 0 0.12. So, which I believe is about three millimeters. Uh, your handle height or uh, width here is, the width is 0 0.8, so he's less than an inch, inch tall. Hand, handle length is four and a quarter inches long. And the material here is a stainless steel with black underlay and bronze colored GFN. Uh, GFN is pretty much heavy duty plastic. It's just a, it's a fancy way of saying uh, glass filled nylon. But uh, you've got black and then bronze colored here. The black underlay has a little bit of texture. 
not a whole lot. You can see there's a strip of texture here and right here. And on this side, you don't have any of that texturing. So that's not too bad. You have a backspacer here. Um, see there, you got a backspacer, which is skeletonized, which just kind of adds to the overall look of the knife. It's pretty neat. So it might be a busy look for some, but I, th I don't know. I kind of like it. It's, it looks pretty cool. You know, I don't have anything that looks like this. Uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Give me some opinions, first impressions. Um, tell me what makes your eyes perk up. Blade shapes, that kind of thing. Give me some ideas of knives, and I'll see what I can do to check them out. Um, so an easy way to contact me for anything is send me a message on Instagram, and uh, it's at Bees Blades. It's pretty simple. You can email me, beesblades at gmail.com. And uh, if you like knife content and you enjoy unboxings, first impressions, full reviews after knives of knives after I've carried them, used them, sharpened them with my opinions, please like this video, hit subscribe, and hit the bell button. That way you get notified when, you, when a new video posts. Uh, I post a two, at least two videos a week, so I only ask once per video. Thank you. I'll thank you. I'll thank you very much. Um, so let's check out some deployment options. So let's see what we got here. For deployment, you pretty much have your flipper tab. Um, you can probably, yeah, you can pinch it and roll, do a slow roll. And pretty much, uh, let's see, you can, you can open the blade to do some fine cutting. And the flipper tab, I can tell you right now, just from opening it a few times, you know, no wrist action needed. It's just pow. And it's not spring assisted. I'm not big on spring assisted knives. Uh, I have one spring assisted knife. And that's the Kershaw leak, which I'll show you here in just a minute in case you do have one. Just uh, not too big on it myself. Uh, but the action is really good. Uh, the flipper tab is not aggressive. There's no sharp points on it, which is very nice. See, and you know, just straight out of the box, it's now it's not really drop shutty per se. It's not terrible. And then again, you know, it's, it'll get a little, do a little bit of wearing in. And if you get a new knife or if you have knives and you want to improve the action of them a little bit, get you some KPL. It's, it's not expensive. And this little bottle will last you freaking forever. KPL is knife pivot lube. Um, I'll put a link in the description where you can get it on Amazon. Um, there's a couple different versions of it. There's a heavier KPL, but you'll probably not need that for anything. Um, most, most of you guys. But this, you get a new knife, go to your pivot, and I'll show you what the, what the applicator looks like on this. Because I was curious before I got it what it looked like. So you've got a nice needle point here. You just put one drop on this side, one drop on that side, on the inside right here. And then you do this number, and you do that number, and you do that, and then you open it and shut it 50 times. And you'll be like, wow. And... You know, to be quite honest, this thing is really smooth right off the get-go. So let's do a couple size comparisons. Um, here is the Kershaw Natrix, which also has great action. So I'll put these, line these up for you in case you have a Natrix. This will give you an idea. The, the blade on the Natrix is a little bit longer. The handle length is maybe a hair longer. Not much. And here is the famous Kershaw Leak. This is one of the most famous knives out there. Or common knives I don't know so there's an idea of the of the leak it's a little bit shorter a little bit shorter handle so there's a couple um, here is the Kershaw highball XL um, if you've seen I I do have an unboxing of this and it loosened up and it has great action it's anyway I don't want to get stuck on other knives but I do have a video up if you want to see the unboxing of that there's the Kershaw highball XL and it's not really XL. Um, here's another similar size. Here's the Civivi Ortis. If you want the specs on that, you can check out that video. And here's a larger knife, Civivi Insight. A lot larger. The Ortis is just about the same size. The cutting edge, the cutting edge of the Ortis is shorter. And we'll just do uh, two more here real quick. For a lot of a lot of you guys and gals might have the Spyderco Tenacious, which was one of my first nicer knives, as I call them. And then the Manix 2. So 
So there you are with a couple uh, couple spider coats for comparison. All right. You know, we'll do just one more. I can't help it. I have to put one more out here. There is the Civivi Elementum button lock. Anyway. So as far as ergos, um, it's easy to deploy like that. And I can sit here and flip this knife all night long. So I'm not, right off the bat, I'm not feeling any hot spots. You know, that's the thing that I always go, you know, I always notice right off the bat are sharp spots, sharp spots of the scales. I'm not feeling any of that. Um, I'm not feeling it on the, uh, the frame lock. Now, your frame lock, let's see what the lockup is here. Uh, we're about, I would say, if I had to give it a number, 55%, a little over half. And there's no lockup. There's no, uh, no grab. So that's not, not bad. That is a good thing. That is a very good thing. Um, let's see. Don't really, don't have any kind of choil per se. You're not going to be choking up on this knife. You do that, you're going to be hitting your blade. So no choke up. But your finger isn't too far from the cutting edge. So that's not really that big a deal there. The handle, I have large size, large size hands, uh, short fingers, but large size hands, and I have plenty of room on the handle. Um, up here, you got some jimping, and the jimping is not aggressive. It's got just the right feel to grab your skin, so your thumb digs in, but it's not painful. I don't see that being an issue. Of course, I'm not chopping down any trees with this knife, but I don't see any problem with that. So overall. I'm not getting any sharp spots except for the blade, which I can already tell is not so super sharp. But, you know, it's a factory edge. That's not going to be an issue. That's something we can fix really easy. So let's check out the pocket clip. So I've got a deep carry pocket clip, which looks pretty good. It's uh, inset. Your screws are, are, they're also, I mean, they're right flush. Your screws are flush, so you're not going to have any problems with the with the screws. And it is reversible, so it's tip up, right and left hand carry. So if you uh, switch to the left side, you can see you'll take this insert, this bronze colored insert, and that will go over here, which is kind of nice. It fills out that space, and it, it adds, obviously, to the, the multi-layered look of this knife. Um, let's check out the edge. So it looks good. It looks can be deceiving. Here's this side. And let me see. Let's go ahead and cut a couple things and see what it does. Get a piece of cardboard. All right, how's it going to do? So it, it's sharp. It's hard to do this on camera. I mean, it's not bad. I wouldn't say it's anything to write home about, but, you know, as, as far as a, a factory edge, you can call it sharp. I don't know. I've, I've become kind of a, a sharpness snob. The, the more knives I get, I guess. I'm like, that's not going to pop hair off my arm. Um, here's a hard, heavy-duty piece of leather. If you've seen me before, seen my videos, you see that this gives me an idea of how slicey it is. Do I? How much pressure do I have to give it? So let's see. Not bad. Let's do a push cut. Eh. I'm having to give it a little bit of pressure. So this this edge could, you know, use a little touch up. And, you know, all, all you got to do a lot of times when you get a new knife is just uh, run it on the strop a little bit, clean it up. But um, well, here's something I'll show you. Let's see what it looks like in the pocket. Whoa. Let's look at it in the pocket here. So it is... Uh, very deep carry. You're not going to have anything showing but your little uh, pocket clip, which I wish they didn't have Kershaw down the side. I just I don't care for billboarding on a pocket clip. But other than that, no knife sticking out. So very nice and deep carry. Can't complain about that. So area is a concern. I don't really have any as of yet. Um, I don't really have any complaints. Let me turn my camera back here. I don't really have anything that's uh, popping out at me. My first impressions are eh, it's, it's a unique knife. It has great action. Um, the ergos are good. I don't, I'm not getting any hot spots. I'm not getting the hot spot from the clip, which is very nice. Sometimes it's sharp up here, and I complain about that. 
but I don't see a whole lot of problems. I'm curious what you think about this knife. It's definitely uh, peculiar. Um, so I hope this was informative, maybe a little mildly entertaining. Um, stop by often, check out what's going on. Um, just always remember, don't cut yourself.